Hello everyone, it's been a long time. I have not made a video, I know, because uh, I've been sick in the past few days. So today we'll be doing Contain Me Room and Try Hack Me. Without further ado, let's get into the box. So I have already <coughs> run the Nmap scan, actually Rust scan. So we'll see the output of the scan right here. We have. So this is the command I ran. Uh, this is the command actually uh, ran by the Rust scan. We have SSH. Uh, we are not going to look into it. Uh, as we don't have credentials, we have port 80 open with Apache 2.4.29. So it's 2.4.29. Uh, there was a zero day on this uh, version that was LFI and RCE. We'll look into that later. Uh, we have port uh, uh, 2222 open on. Uh, okay, so we have port 2222 open and then 8022 for SSH. So I think let's start with the port 80 <coughs> IP here and uh, we see Apache default uh, page and uh, there's nothing else nothing, nothing interesting in the source code either so at this point I guess we will uh, move on to the input processing directories I'll just replace the IP here oops uh, yeah we are using directorless 2.3 medium and with the extensions php html and text file so here uh, we see index.html and uh, that is the default page that uh, we can see right now and this is and we also see index.php that is uh, uncommon so let's browse to it and we see uh, looks looks like uh, when we browse to this php file it's executing the ls command on the server and we see the files that are stored on this server and uh, if you look the page source we see it says where's the path so i'll be honest here when i first saw this box uh, when i saw this string written where's the path i what i did uh, was i <coughs> just copied this uh, path and i appended it as a parameter this was the first thing that came to my mind and then I just said uh, um, ls or like let's say who am I uh, sorry I did uh, um, yeah I did slash I remember and then uh, I saw that it executed uh, ls command right there so uh, this was a luck by chance I guess or <clears throat> just a common um, mistake by a room owner I don't know so the second way of doing this is you can also fuzz this parameter using puff tool uh, that's a great tool using a common parameters word list in sec list okay so <clears throat> once you do that you'll find that uh, you can see any uh, file on the server you just need to specify the path so if we specify wadwdub here we can see the files that are in this directory one thing to note here that you cannot execute arbitrary commands. You cannot execute ls umi because the script is uh, looking for the location uh, to run ls command. So here we can uh, actually pipe the commands uh, um, like using <coughs> just a second. Yeah, so we see that it's executing. Uh, uh, oh my god! Yeah, it's executing ls dash la. I guess. So um, if we do. Uh, if you append a colon here and then we say who am I then uh, you'll see that it also uh, output the output of who am I command so this with this uh, we can uh, maybe um, try getting the remote code execution if there are no filters on this place we do this and you see we successfully get the code execution it says www-data so we also can check the host name here <clears throat> and it says host one perfect we have the code execution right here so let's just uh, name the path uh, something like um, uh, mm, i guess dot uh, i'll just leave it okay so host name and uh, now our next uh, uh, <clears throat> our next target is to get a reverse shell back so i'll say which python so let's see if we can get uh, version using python and it does say that there is python 3 installed on the server i'll see which nc and uh, looks like uh, netkit is not installed so we saw that uh, python 3 is installed so we'll go to reverse shell kit sheet and copy the python payload to get the reverse shell back 
<clears throat> so this is the Python payload. Um, let me just open the mocks pad. I'll paste it here. In Py instead of Python 3, I'll use Python 3 and change the IP here to my TryHackMe IP, which is 10.17.1.253. I'll use the port 1234, minimize this, and just append it here. Before doing that, launch the netcat listener port 1234. Press enter here, and we should get a version back. And we do get a version back. <coughs> Perfect. Now, as usual, there's a most basic thing to do. Python 3-c import ptty, ptty.spawn, pin bash to get the fully ptty shell. Oops. It's been so long that I've not used Linux because I was sick. Then we use the export term equals to xterm. Oh my god. Okay, clear. All right. So um, we end the server. Uh, when I saw this box, I saw that we are host win, and uh, I guess that there is another host also. So if we if we run if config. We see Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 and a loopback adapter connected. So loopback is common, Ethernet 0 is also common, but Ethernet 1 is not common. Uh, I suspect that uh, there is another host connected, means another computer connected. So uh, we shall we will be looking into it. Next up, we uh, let's see uh, what users on the, are on this box. We go to home, we see Mike. We go into the Mike folder. And we see a one crypt topex named something. Um, let's just see what it is. It says, uh, wait. Ah, uh, I think I forgot the command. Uh, I guess it was file and then a file name. One minute. File, not the scan. Yeah, it is. I don't know why it's not working there. Okay. And just leave it. Let's try executing this binary. And we see this script shell. We are not sure what it does. So at this point, let's just try appending some parameters. Argument, sorry. We'll say dash search for we can see help me help menu. And say you wish. Okay, so we got dash dash help. Uh so it's unable to decompress. So it looks like it. It's trying to decompress something not sure okay <clears throat> at this point maybe it could be a, a rabbit hole means a false path so uh, we'll try uh, finding the CID binaries so find the slash dash firm dash 4000 to get the devnull to output the errors to not output the errors on the screen and we see a couple of default results, but this one is not default. So let's just browse to this path. And uh, uh, we see crypt file that has a CID permissions. If we execute this thing, it's the same thing. So we can also try uh, appending the search. It says nothing, just same same stuff. So, I'm gonna sort of where am I and uh, says unable to decompress. <clears throat> uh, not sure what it does, but if you append the dot script and then the username like root or something, it says unable to decompress. We append mic here and <clears throat> we instantly get a root shell back. So uh, there is something to do with this uh, crypt binary. Actually, I'm not good at reverse engineering, so I'm trying to get a hang of it, but I cannot. Uh, if someone knows why this works, then please let me know. Uh, but uh, I know that if you open the uh, uh, mic as an argument here, you get uh, a root shell back. Uh, it could be a guessing part, or it could be something else. I don't know. <coughs> yeah, so there's a screen. We are root on this host. Uh, so if we go to root directory here, uh, you see the snow flag because there's another host on this machine that we need to take over. Okay, <clears throat> so at this point, uh, we need to scan this host. 
uh, we don't have nmap on this machine if I'm right so and we want to scan this host and has subnet I guess so we will use uh, uh, static binary nmap and web stack static binary uh, so let's see I don't know where I have pasted it I guess it was in static binaries one minute Oops. oh I remember what is it was an opt and then static binaries binaries and then here we have uh, nmap static binary so if you copy paste to your uh, nmap binary that is installed by default on Linux then it will not run on the host it will error out saying some files are missing some .c files but if you run a static binary this nmap that I have downloaded via github you can search it up on google to download it <coughs> uh, if you run this on this uh, target machine you will not get any error and that is because all of the requirements all of the files have already been uh, compiled it together with this nmap binary I guess uh, and that is why the size of this nmap binary is also uh, larger than the usual one so let's launch a python 3 server here and let's go to temp binary and uh, paste uh, <coughs> just download the binary here 10.17.1253 1, and nmap So the binary has downloaded. Let's try. Let's give it the executable permissions. Oh my god! And let's, let's launch <coughs> the scan uh, on this entire subnet. So I'll say dash uh, nmap and I'll instead of two, I'll pen zero and slash twenty four for the entire subnet and dash pn do not ping any machine this can take some this can take some time to run so uh, i'll pause the video here and when it's done i'll get back to you all right so the scan <coughs> is done and it, it was paused this time i don't know uh, why um and we see two uh, hosts here that is 172.16.22 and uh, the other one is weird because it only has SSH port open and I guess this is the one we are looking for so let's uh, uh, let, let's, let's just try pinging it uh, ping dash c1 172 16 20.6 and we see that yes we can ping it all right we see that SSH, SSH is open so uh, this only the way uh, we can get in, into the machine is by SSH so let's uh, if we uh, go into our uh, home and then Mike users folder you'll see that Mike has dot ssh uh, uh, folder and uh, uh, idrsa file <coughs> this means that user has generated the ssh keys so looks like uh, the uh, Mike user is using ssh to connect so it might be a good guess that uh, it might be a good try if we can uh, uh, if we try using SSH to connect to the second host using the mic's uh, ID RSA, let's really do that and then with the SSH I for specifying the uh, private key file and uh, <coughs> oh, sorry, and then the host name that is IP address here. And uh, sorry, it's mic username and then the host name. We do that and uh, it says. Uh, no such file directory uh wait so this is i id underscore isa mic at the rate ip <coughs> we say yes and it is asking for the password well it's the thought looks like we cannot connect to the user i guess uh, uh i guess i copied the wrong ip so this is the right ip <clears throat> that was my mistake. Let's clear the screen and SSH I ID is for same mic at the rate IP. We say yes. And we are in the box. So once we're inside the box, we clear the screen and uh, let us see the contents. I'll write nothing and then let's see the services are running locally on this machine. Uh, and we see 
port 3306 it looks like a mysql is running locally on this machine okay so we can try connecting to the sql uh, quickly if there are no credentials in the use then you can just try entering mysql to connect but looks like there is password in use maybe so uh we can try some default passwords here mysql dash u mic and then dash p for specifying the password so we'll say password to be password there's a default password basic and we can act here so this was a guessing game here and we say show databases uh, okay then we see accounts we say use accounts and now show me the tables here and we have users table i'd say show all from users uh oh, what oh it's select all from users actually and we have a root and mic here and we can see the password of root user is this so basically right now we can just do so root and then we'll paste the password here and we are root perfect uh let's uh, go to the root directory and uh, here we have mic.zip let's try unzipping it unzip mic.zip and it says tell me the mic's password and here's the password of the mic user we enter it it extracted the mic uh, and it looks like ah uh, yeah it's the root password root flag actually so that was it for the box i know this box was uh, actually uh 50% guessing game. I hope you uh, learn something new. I'll sketch you later on. Thanks.